Ah, there she is, the Burnside, the vehicle that Komodo really doesn't like to use here in BMG Drive. I don't have anything against it, I just never pick it. But today, folks, there has been an extreme upgrade to this thing. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead, we're by the shop here, we're going to take it in. Uh, it needs a little tune-up, you can see it's a little rusty, and I think the engine's running a little rough, so I think we need to do an engine swap here. So we're going to pull up here into the shop. So yeah, I have nothing against the car, it's just something I don't use a whole lot of. So we're gonna go ahead and rip the hood off real quick, and as you can see, it's a small puny engine. Well, we want to do a new engine in here, and I have just the mod for that. So if you see in my engines here, we can put a big diesel motor. This is the T-Series motor, and this is called the Big D Swap, and oh my goodness. Why is this a thing? Um, yep, that's amazing. So yeah, this is a new mod on the workshop. I don't think I have this thing configured right yet, but this is basically a drag diesel, and uh, I think this is gonna be the ultimate upgrade, but I've got more burn side parts here today. Uh, we're gonna show this thing some love. What do you say we maybe put it in like a, a limo or something? I don't know, we probably need to get it running first. <laughs> It doesn't appear to be spinning. Also, it just does not fit in there. I think we need to remove the front grill. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Okay, so there is a configuration for this, but I want to do the swap myself. So we're going to stick a diesel tank in here. Uh, it has fired up. I think we need to replace the grill. I don't know if we need a different radiator on this. We'll have to see. Uh, nitrous oxide, uh, yes, please. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, let's go ahead. Is there anything else we can upgrade to this? Oh, we can put a bigger turbocharger, T700. This thing looks mean. I think the hose is there supposed to, like, connect it to, uh, I guess some sort of radiator, but we don't have that right now. There is a high-performance, uh, drag and semi-radiator. Hold on, let's put that on. Oh, there we go! Now it's hooked up! That looks great! I don't think there's really much protection for it, but, uh, perfect! Man, you give this thing another paint job, it'll be ready to go. All right, so with a fresh coat of paint, we have this thing, it's come to life. I removed the uh, front bumper pieces. I love mods like this. Uh, having just ridiculous swaps is like one of my favorite things. Uh, I can imagine this is heavy. Um, we might need to change the suspension around a little bit. I don't know if there's really many suspension upgrades for the burn side. Maybe if we had like an off-roading version of it, uh, you could put a beefier suspension. I don't know, this is working pretty well. It's got clearance. I mean, it uh, looks like the oil pan on the uh, diesel motor might drag, especially if I hit the brakes. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a little gas on. Uh, oh. <laughs> I've got wheel spin. I think I might need a different transmission here. Uh, yeah, because we're topping out at 40. Like I said, there is a preset if you don't want to go in here and do all of this, which by the way, I'll have this mod linked down in the description. It wobbles. Oh my goodness. That is a thing. Okay, so with some adjustments and copying the homework of the preset, we did stick some drag slicks on here. There's a lot of tuning options for this. Uh, you, you can have it kind of be, uh, I don't want to say normal, uh, but then you can have it be ridiculous. Like watch what happens when I hit the gas here. Uh, oh my, that is, <laughs> that's ridiculous. We got to do this to a limo. It doesn't turn very well, as you can imagine. Uh, one, because we have really thin drag front tires on there, but two, the weight. Like, this thing is so off balance now, uh, but it is a thing. I, I do want to take it to the drag strip. First, you know what? Let's go to the highway. Let's do a speed run here. Maybe tick off the cops. All right, here we go, folks. Hold on, what does this look like for the interior? Oh, uh, that's not too bad. I mean, it's kind of in the way, but you got plenty of visibility here. All right, so here we go. Oh, my goodness. This thing's going to definitely grip on the uh, drag strip oh okay here we go speed oh my goodness this is oh this is too fast you know that engine's gonna break out and probably crush somebody's vehicle all right we are at 200 come on easy to turn to the left a little bit we're gonna make it all the way down the highway i think uh 203 i don't know maybe putting nitrous on here might get you a little extra speed uh this is ridiculous here we go up the ramp oh <laughs> oh my goodness, the, okay, the engine, it's inside of the, the other car. <laughs> like, if you had a pass, actually, the driver's dead, too. Um, that's pretty extreme. You know what? I'm going to do some tweaking real quick. I feel like there's some stuff we can do to this. 
And then we're going to run it out of the drag strip. Uh, might convert it over to another vehicle. And you know what? Maybe we'll, uh, we'll run from the cops. That's one of the more entertaining things to do with ridiculous vehicles. I don't think we'll be able to be stopped. Besides crashing, of course. Okay, folks, you think we got a, an eight-second car here? Hold on, let's go ahead and... Brakes? All right, I want to run the quarter mile here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves an opponent. You know, I'm feeling lucky here today. You think we could take on maybe, I don't know, a Chantilla? Uh, let's go and spawn in one of those. And we are ready to go here. Oh, buddy, they don't know what they're going against here. All right, this is uh, I went and called a sleeper because you can see the giant engine hanging out. Uh, all right, Nitrous is on. Okay, I'm trying to edge up. It's hard to edge up to the staging line. Like, it just, this vehicle wants to go. All right, can I put it? Okay, come on. Uh, I'm trying to stage here. All right, a little bit of, okay, we're staged. Okay, here we go, and, oh! <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, we just beat a, uh, a base chintilla. That is an eight second car there, folks. An eight five right there. Um, we can go faster. Uh, I feel like we could take on a faster opponent. I think you've had a little bit of reaction too. Okay, one last opponent. I've got the drag chintilla, so in theory that one should be able to take us on. All right, come on, ease up. This thing just wants to go when it's in drive. I'm having to be extra careful here. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, second stage, okay. There we go, and oh! I was laid off the line there, come on. No! <laughs> okay. Can't quite beat the drag chintilla, but nonetheless, I mean, that was a bad reaction time. I wonder if I would've had a better reaction time there. Yeah, my reaction time was a little slow there. Well, it's uh, it's completely fine. Just hold it wide open here. Uh, all right, and we are about to fly up. We, you know, the engine ha actually hasn't broken out yet. Uh, I'm surprised. That thing is like bolted in there really good. Like you think when you have like these big like engines strapped on to the vehicles, a lot of times they're gonna fly out, especially here in beam. Uh, that thing is bolted down. It might be welded to it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They should have flown out. All right, time to switch up the body style. I think we can go even more ridiculous. So if I just switch this to limousine frame, oh my, it does work. Okay, wow. <laughs> We have a limo. There isn't a, I don't think there's a willy bar for this. Hold on, is there a willy bar option? That is not a thing. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm tempted to put normal tires on the front of this thing, or semi-normal tires. That way we can get a little bit more turning ability. Those are a little bit fatter slicks. So let's go with those. Okay, it definitely turns uh, a little bit. Oh, something broke. Wait, did we just break? Okay, the drive shaft in this limousine might not be strong enough yeah it snaps wait something's breaking is it that oh i thought it was the drive shaft breaking no uh one of the hoses on the radiator snapped off uh oh no the whole what the heck the whole rear end just broke look the tires that i think the whole axle is loose in the back what um, yeah, I'm not really sure how to fix that one. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. I thought maybe the drag limo uh, diesel thing would work. Um, yeah, maybe I'll switch the body again. I think I got a UTE body, actually. All right, so UTE body. I mean, it's kind of cool looking. Uh, the bottle looks a little awkward. I feel like the uh, it'll be able to handle it this time. Uh, unless changing the tires is what was breaking it. No, okay, there we go. No, that's working. All right, so we'll just use the UTE. Huh. Well, I, I feel like we've broken something. Uh, let's just pull over into the parking lot real quick. Okay, so it was not that. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go back to the drawing board, and I'm going to play around with a couple things. We'll get this working. Um, maybe not on the UTE. You know what? We're going to go back to the limo idea. All right, folks. I present to you the uh, the limo, diesel, whatever you want to call it. I left the, uh, the stock tires on. You get a lot of wheel spin. Uh, and it's gonna stick right around 30 miles per hour for a little bit, but once the tires finally hook, uh, it's a nice gradual increasing speed, and I feel like uh, with the couple suspension things that I've done, uh, we actually beefed it up. I've got rally suspension on here. Uh, I feel like this is gonna probably not break. Uh, don't quote me on that, because there's still a chance it might. All right, so we're rolling. Uh, it sounds like there's something wrong with the gearing in this. Uh, it does not seem to want to really climb. Then why would you turn in front of me? 
Oh my goodness, were you the cops? Yeah, there's something about the limo configuration. It just doesn't seem to get going. Oh, look at the burn side. How convenient. Uh, maybe Komodo's creation wasn't a good idea. Uh, all right, you know what? I'm pulling the other one back out. Let's see if the cops can do anything with this. Yeah, okay, so the default configuration definitely works a lot better. Uh, still really not sure what's up with the limo. It just could be something pretty simple, but it just doesn't seem to like take off. Uh, this thing, on the other hand, uh, I think the cops are gonna have a handful with me. All right, so I wanna make it down to, let's call the docks our escape point here. Okay, how do we get by these guys? Oh, let's go up up here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, as soon as you hit something, that's your engine. Whee! <laughs> the uh, the throttle is, it's amazing. Like, it uh, it slides a lot. It's definitely a slidey boy. And you can just feel the weight. Like, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's a weird sensation. There's so much weight on the front of this car, yet there's so much power to the rear wheels. Uh, it is definitely a thing. All right, we have almost made it. Should we jump on? Yeah, we're going to have to get on the highway here. Uh, we're going to get on the highway. We're not going to stay on long, though. I mean, the highway, we got them on that. Uh, they're not catching us there. This is a fast uh, vehicle. Oh, my goodness. That awkward moment when Komodo did a little too much talking there and was not quite paying attention and sheared off his tire. Well, that was rather embarrassing. It's fine. We're just going to reset this back. Uh, we're just going to back up and... And you know what? We're going to deduct half a point from Komodo's total score today. All right, here we go. Uh, we're probably going too fast for this bridge. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, throw it side. Oh, there's no such thing as throwing something with this much weight in the front sideways. Uh, oh, okay. Yep. Uh, E-brake doesn't work. Uh, something's broken. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So, note to yourself. Vehicle with big diesel motor in the front is probably not the best for getting away from the police. But you guys should totally check this out. 